In this video, we are going to see how to use SSH key forwarding. Meaning, let's say we have our public subnet and our private subnet. And we want to SSH to the instance on the public subnet and the instances on the private subnet. So how can we SSH to the instances and how can we SSH to the private subnet without copying our key to the bastion host or copying our key to any other server? So that's what we want to see. Like how do I SSH on my to my private instance without exposing my keys to the servers? So for that, our private instances in our private subnet and our public instances in our public subnet. So let's consider our public instance as our bastion host and both have SSH enabled on their security groups. So for the public instance, we have our SSH enabled from anywhere. And for our private instance, SSH is only enabled from our public subnet. So now what we are going to do is for SSH key forwarding, I'm going to go to my terminal. So now I'm inside my terminal and I'm inside my SSH folder in my home directory. And this is where I have copied my key, the key that I utilize to SSH to my instance, the key pair that you select when you create your EC2 instance. So I have created or I have downloaded the key over here. So first thing I'm going to do is type this command SSH agent bash. So now this will open up the bash shell. And then what I'm going to do is change the mode of my key to 400 so that we'll be able to utilize the key. And then what we're going to do is add the key SSH add. So this will add our key as an identity. And then now we'll be able to SSH to our instance. So I'm going to use SSH EC2 user add and then the public IP address. So notice I'm not specifying the key over here now while SSHing, but I am specifying dash A option. And I'm on my server. So now I'm here. Let me remove this key. I have this key on my server, on my public server. So now I'm on my bastion. Now let me SSH to my private instance from the bastion host and notice once again I'm not specifying my key and I'm on my private sub private instance now without specifying the key so this is how you can use the SSH key forwarding so you don't have to copy your keys to your server you can directly utilize the key locally on your laptop or whichever machine you are on so basically you can rewatch the videos and see how to add the ssh agent forwarding technique